out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we back. Good for sports TV in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And Jared Swift heard, man. What's the what it do? Wonder why Jared Swift heard don't get his pound for pound credit, man. Let's chop it up about that. And right now I got Jared Hurd sitting at number five in my pound for pound list. I'll reveal a new one right when the summer started before before the summer started. Cause you got things that's gonna be going down. So I only unveil it like two or three times a year. Maybe the end of you know the end of the year, uh, sometime in the first quarter of the year, and maybe around the summertime or something like that, man. So I don't do them that often. So, but Jared Hurd is number five on my list. My list goes Crawford, Canelo with an asterisk by his name for obvious reasons. Uh, Usyk, who will be falling off the list soon anyway because he's going to heavyweight. And you don't rate heavyweights in the pound for pound list. The pound for pound list was created for smaller fighters. Four, I got Errol Spence, and five, I got Jared Hurd. Now, you can easily swap around Errol Spence and Jared Hurd. In my opinion, Jared Hurd has done uh, way more than Errol Spence has done. He's unified titles. He's had big fights, but I just got Errol Spence here because he just looked a little bit nicer on the eyes, a little bit more skilled on the eye test. But, hey, I want to debate you if you choose to put Jared Hurd over Errol Spence, over the accolades and the fights that he's done. Now, a lot of people want to take away uh, Jared Hurd credit and say, oh, he's a light heavyweight fighting that junior middleweight and this and that. And I hear, you know, some Errol Spence fans saying that. I say, well, Errol Spence was a dude that claimed that he could fight that middleweight fighting at 147. You know, uh, you know, Paul Williams was a almost a six-foot-tall fighter fighting that welterweight. You know, Bunny Easter Jr., if he knew how to utilize his athletic ability and have some boxing skills, he a six-foot fighter fighting that lightweight. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, my whole model has been for the last three or four years, if you can make the weight, there's no debate. Period. If you can make the weight, there's no debate. So, there's no debating it, man. At the end of the day, if you can make the weight, he ain't coming in overweight. I mean, why does why does that you know press people so much, man? And a lot of people don't like Jared Hurd because people claim that he ducked Jer, uh, Jamel Charlo. Um, and you know people say, and I say, yeah, he probably you know he ducked Jamel Charlo, but Jamel Charlo ducked Eris Lonnie Lara. Lara was calling him out several times. You know, Jared Hurd took the challenge on fighting at that time was the number one uh, junior middleweight in Lara, so he earned the right to be the boss. He ain't doing nothing different than what Wilder doing, what Earl Wilder doing to Joshua right now, what Earl Spence is doing to Terrence Bud Crawford right now. He's playing the business role. Every everybody else get a pass. You know, Leo Santa Cruz, these brothers jump all over uh they jump all over these other fighters, but don't nobody get on Leo Santa Cruz for being a duck. Oh, it's business. You know, all these other fighters that get away with business, Lomachenko, you know, I don't want to feed Pacquiao, you know, Pacquiao, no, it does nothing for my career, but you fight Jose Pedraza, you know what I'm saying? Everybody a businessman. Jer Hurd made a business decision. He didn't want to fight Jamel Charlo. He made a million dollars, his first million dollars fighting Jason Wilborn, you know? So how can you, how can you, how can you knock that? At the end of the day, he want to fight him now if he can be, get past Tony Harrison. That's not going to... Uh, 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 factor in to my his pound for pound ranking for me because all these these fighters on on some level is a business person they let these promoters these managers ev- advisors advise them to sit there and marinate these fights and let them and let them grow and find that and let them marinate and get bigger uh get bigger for so they can get more money so for me jerry heard he beat lara he he is first person to stop trout he beat tony harrison I mean, at the end of the day, he did this with, like, what, 40, 45 amateur fights? You know, he did this when nobody knew who he was. He bubbled on the scene. I think he beat up JoJo Dan, and then people started to pay notice to, to his skills. Like I said, he he wasn't no large superstar coming out to amateurs. You know, he doing this. He learning on the fly. So when people say, well, you know, he don't pass the eye test, all I know is he's stopping guys. He beating guys now. That's what he doing. He handling his business. However you do it, like I said before, I said that he remind me of Deontay Wilder. People want to critique how Deontay Wilder get results, but he get results. 
you solve an equation one way, but it may not be the only way to get to the correct answer. At the end of the day, as long as you getting victories and you knocking guys out and doing what you need to do, does it matter? But it's a personal thing why people don't rank Jared Hurd. It's all personal. It's over him not fighting Jamel Charlo. He said he had a shoulder injury, and we were saying he was pulling to keep Thurman. But he wanted to fight Kell Brook. When the Kell Brook fight didn't happen, he shut it down and you know until the end of the year. You know, that's his prerogative. But that don't take away that he he took he took the toughest fights that he can take at, at the time being, and he beat the guys. And right now, his resume tell me, and, and, and the results that he get, ain't no close fights. It was close until he stopped these guys or until he dropped Laura. I had him beating Laura by like three points, two or three points. He stopped Trout, like I said before, and then he fighting J-Rock tonight. He, he going to do the damn thing, man. As long as he getting the victory and he he just building a nice resume, and J Rock ain't no easy opponent. J Rock is a well respected fighter on a lot of different levels. So at the end of the day, he getting that paper, he get a homecoming fight, and all I'm saying is that he a pound for pound fighter. It's it, you know people don't like the results that he how he how he get the results, but he get them. If he walk you down, beating you down because he bigger than you, so is Earl Spence then. You know, so is Earl Spence. He doing the same thing. He walking guys down that he bigger than. He don't fear them hurting him. He just walk them down and beat them up with size. Earl Spence just looked more technical, technical than Jared Hurt. But he he relying on size to beat a lot of opponents. Had him and Mikey been the same size? Never know. But you don't play if it's the fifth. We all be drunk. Can't play the if game. He getting results. It don't matter how he getting there. Jerry Hurd deserves to be a pound for pound fighter. He pound for pound number five on my list. I don't care. And then as soon as used to make his heavyweight debut, he moving up to number four. Like it or not, man, the kid can fight. You know, people don't talk about the chin, the melon that he got on his hand. His chin, the guy, that's an attribute. Without a chin, a lot of guys wouldn't even a lot a lot of chin, a lot of a lot of guys would be great if they had a chin. Amir Khan, if he had a chin, he might be one of the best fighters out there. So God has blessed Jerry Hurd with a good chin, a, a six foot one frame, you know, 76 and a half inch reach. And he blessed him with a great left hook and a great double right hand. Pay respect. They always want to move the needle and they want and they want to just, oh man, you know, he a weight bully and this and that. Well, if he a weight bully, Sarah's Earl Spence. But him and him and Deontay Water got a lot in common, man. They don't like how they get there. Oh, he ain't that technical or he sloppy or he luck. It ain't luck when you didn't did this 26, 30, 40, 50 times. What's lucky about it? I can go out there every fight and get the same consistent results in Jared Hurd. If I'm Deontay Wilder, I go out there and get the same consistent results for the most part. I knock jokers out. All right? Same thing with Jared Hurd. I knock jokers out. I get the same consistent results. You know, at the end of the day, you might not like how I handle my business. I might not handle it the best way, but guess what? I'm a champion. I'm a winner. I got two major belts, the Super WBA and the IBF. You know, and I'm out here winning. I ain't lost. And I've been doing this in the biggest fights from Vegas, probably the Barclays Center. I've been doing this wherever they want to do it at. Now, did I duck somebody in there, Jamel Charlo, some people's opinion? Yeah, but guess what? Jamel Charlo ducked Lara. I beat the guy he was scared to fight. I beat the guy that he fought after me and Lara and Trout. Matter of fact, I stopped Trout when his brother couldn't stop Trout and Jamal Charlo. So I'm doing things that other people hadn't done before. I was the first man to stop Austin Trout. Canelo didn't do it. Cotto didn't do it. Lara didn't do it. I did that. I, I was the first guy to legitimately beat Lara. Paul Williams had a questionable victory over him, and so did Canelo Alvarez. I beat him be better than both of them dudes. You know, but I don't deserve to be pound for pound. Come on, man. The disrespect got to stop, man. <clears throat> you know, just because you don't like a guy, like how he get there, you got to respect that. You got to respect his resume. You got to respect the legacy and put some respect on his name, in my opinion. All right? But... Jared Hurd, number five for me. I don't care what nobody said. Can't change my mind. Good Fellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. 
If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request, keep sharing the videos. It's the best way to help the channel out. Check out the Patreon. We'll be updating it soon, I promise. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Gets you 18% off the 100% all natural products. If you email me, Jared Hurd's record, I'll give you some free $20 or $15, $10 to The Hellblaze, man. Appreciate the love and support. Best donation you can make is share the video. Or if you want to make a, a donation, I'll link in the description. Good folks, Sports TV, one time for the one time. Y'all know the business is. We gone.